Hamza Al Khatib was a Syrian boy who died before reaching his 14th birthday. This internet video is said to be of his funeral in late May in the town of Dara. He's already been called the Mohammed Bouazizi of Syria after the young Tunisian man whose suicide in faraway Tunis sparked a nationwide uprising. Hamza Al Khatib didn't die at his own hand, but after being allegedly beaten, shot, and some say tortured. The thousands who swell the streets in his name say the boy's killers work for the state. These graphic images of the teenager's body were distributed around the world. The circumstances surrounding Hamza Al Khatib's death have prompted an outcry. Syrian opposition groups meeting in the Turkish city of Antalya have also claimed the boy as a symbol of resistance. The regime, uh, despite their propaganda, despite their lies, I cannot dispute the fact that this kid basically was abducted, was tortured, was mutilated, and uh, was, you know, heinous crimes were committed, uh, you know, to this, to this particular kid. President Bashar al-Assad announced on Tuesday there would be an inquiry into the circumstances surrounding the killing of the teenager. It comes a day after Syrian state television aired its own version of events. A program was aired on Tuesday claiming the boy was already dead when his body was brought to the state hospital on April 29th. And that despite the video images of the body, a state coroner found there were no signs of violence or torture. In various towns across Syria on Wednesday, people marched against the killing of Hamza al Khatib. This amateur video uploaded onto the internet claims to show demonstrators holding placards of Hamza in the town of Idlib. On Wednesday, Human Rights Watch warned the government could be guilty of crimes against humanity. And in a week of concessions that include an amnesty and a national dialogue committee, a potent new symbol of state repression may be the last thing President Bashar al-Assad needs. Khadija Magadi, Al Jazeera.